Yo, what is good, y'all? Today, I'll be telling you guys about the importance of presets and how you can build your own presets with the knowledge that you've got in After Effects. So let's start off with why I think that presets are so important. Me personally, I've been editing music videos for the past four years. When I first started off, we had creators like Brian Delamara. He was pretty new at the time, but he sold his own preset packs. But at the time, I was editing my own music videos, and I genuinely thought that preset packs were only for beginners. And I had that phase for a very long time, like it lasted for maybe two years. So I was sitting there editing music videos, spending hours every single day, recreating the same effects, and I genuinely didn't know that I could make my own presets. It wasn't until my friend bought someone's preset pack and he told me, like, this is a crazy time saver, you gotta check it out. So I decided to buy a pack myself and I tried it out and I just realized that this saved me so much time. And that's when I started creating my own preset packs as well because I realized that this was going to help people save a lot of time and also edit a lot faster and better. So I created my first preset pack back in 2021 and I made like a thousand bucks of that preset pack which wasn't like any life-changing money, but it was still good for a 15 year old. And now fast forward, I got my own Shopify store where we sell preset packs every single day. Now you might wonder how you can do the same thing. And it's actually pretty easy. Just try to focus on problems that you've been having while editing. And I'm sure that thousands of other creators can relate to that. So let's jump right into After Effects and I'm gonna show you guys how you can create your own presets, what you should think about when you do that, and just a bunch of tips, so let's go. So I got this project open. It's basically my latest tutorial that I just recorded and I did remove some of the effects. So I'll just be using this clip. Now, the first thing you got to do is decide what kind of preset you want to create. You can create like motion presets. You can create stylized effects. You can create LUTs. Like there's so many different things you can do. Like this preset that I got right here is one of my shakes. It's basically just a vertical shake, as you can see. It's just on the Y axis with a zoom out. So if I click on the adjustment layer, and open up my effect controls you can see i got the transform which is essential when you're creating motion effects because you don't want to create a preset with the scale right here so if you're going to create a motion preset then make sure to use the transform effect and to add on the transform effect all you simply got to do is head to effects and presets and search up transform and then just drag it on to your adjustment layer which is also essential so if i'm going to give you a quick run through on how to create your presets right click go to new create an adjustment layer first thing I'm going to add on is a transform effect and I can zoom this in and keyframe the scale then go in a few frames like let's go to one second and then press reset now I got my scale back to normal I'll easy ease my keyframes pressing F9 and then I can just create a graph that looks like this so now I got a zoom right here as you can see it's pretty fast so I can create I can do it like this if you want to add on a shake like I did, just add on a sapphire shake. Mess with the settings, make sure that it's what you want and make sure to have motion blur selected. Now when you create presets in After Effects, one thing I've realized is when you don't keyframe them, they usually don't save like this motion blur and the frequency. So I usually just keyframe all of my settings that I change because when I save it as a preset, it usually changes back to normal. I'm not sure why. So make sure to keyframe all of your settings, even though you usually wouldn't like keyframe them and then I'll just go in a few frames in turn the amplitude down to zero and I won't mess with any of the other settings for right now so now you can see we got this shake and if you want this shake to be just on the y-axis to have a vertical shake like I just had then all you simply gotta do is head up right here bump up the y random frequency and just mess with these settings right here and then like I said gotta keyframe them as well even though you won't mess with them. And then I'll also drag down the Y random frequency, just like this. Now you can see it's mainly on the Y axis, but it's a little bit too high, so I'll drag it down. And just like that, we got a vertical shake, which has become more and more common in music videos. This is decent. Now I can easy ease these keyframes and just create something like this. Now I'll add on an exposure effect, just to get that kind of flash to spice this up. So I'll just turn up the exposure for the first frame right here. And then go like 10 frames in, turn it down to zero. And that's basically all you got to do. Now we got your camera shake right here that you can save as your preset. All you got to do to do this is just press U on your keyboard. Now you see all of your keyframes right here. Select all of them and then head up to animation, save animation preset. And here I got all of my preset packs. If you want to check them out, go to lurkingvisuals.store and you can create a new folder for your preset like folder and then name it like shake presets and then all you got to do is save it in here you can name it like vertical camera shake 
just like that and then press save and then you just gotta open up your effects and presets right click and refresh list then all you gotta do is head under animation presets and find it where you can just search up like shake whatever it was called and then you should find it i got way too many shake presets but yeah you should find it in your, in your animation presets so now you know how to create your own presets go ahead go crazy with this you can even sell these to your audience if you have one on either instagram or youtube you can you can start a free website you don't need it shopify you can go ahead and create a gumroad site or whatever and that's actually how i started even though i'm using shopify right now but if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll make sure to drop more sales like this for you guys you can also dm me on instagram or leave a comment below on what you want to see next on the channel but thank you so much for watching and i'll See you in the next one.